channel for fun if you're into my channel today we're going to be painting a jewelry box so let's get straight to opening it up this is apparently the carbon paper that you're supposed to put on it first i think yeah it's brown so <laughs> it probably is the carbon paper um it says caress all over it for some reason okay. sorry my mom was telling me something <laughs> Okay, let's pull the next thing out of the box. These are the instructions. By the way, this is from Kalakram and Kalakram and Indian like business sort of thing. Um, you can pause it if you want to read what it says right now. This is just like the introduction part. Um, on the next page, it talks about like a bunch of like the steps to like making this jewelry box. It's really cool. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited to do this with you. Um, before we get on with this, um, I want you guys to subscribe, like, and share this video, and press the notification bell so that you know when I post a new video. Ooh, cool. There's like three paintbrushes. I think they're big, medium, and small. Let's rip the tape off. It's going to be hard. Okay, there we go. I ripped it off. Oh my god, guys, this tape is so pretty. Okay, it's like a green, a purple ombre. I'm just going to stick it here so I can use it later maybe if I want to. Okay, so yeah, this is a big one. It's not really big, but it's big enough for the size of this jewelry box. Um, and this one is the medium one. It's a bit thinner, but again, it's really good. Um, I like how it's like a black orange ombre. And this one's the thinnest one, the small one. Okay. So let's take the next thing out of the bag. So here are some secondary colors, like paints, like some other colors that don't come in the electric, uh, um, acrylic. Wait, why did I say electric? I don't know if I'll be using those as often. Okay, this is the jewelry box. Oh my god, let's open it up. It's so cute. Oh, okay. So there's like masking tape in here, which is good, like for this. And there's some acrylic paint in here, which I think I'll be using more. Because it's like easier to put on this there so there's like white green red blue black and yellow there is a palette if I want to mix colors just put them in there. and there's something else oh I think I got some red thing I don't know what that was <laughs> okay so let's look at the instructions what is the first step so it says that okay, let me read it okay step number one <laughs> says that I need to color it in the white acrylic um, paint as a base. So let's do that. So, okay, so in this acrylic box is where the white should be. Yep, there it is. Let's put the rest away, you know, and like make some space to like start painting. Okay, I gotta grab my paintbrush. I'm gonna use the big one because there's a lot of, like, space I should be painting. Oh, and I'm going to go get a cup of water. Sorry about that. Oh, we'll get that cup of water in a second. Oh, and in the meanwhile, I'm probably going to get a tissue because it might get a bit messy here. You don't know. And I don't want to just, like, mess up the whole place for the video. Okay. I think I'll get, like, a plastic cup probably. You know, fill it up with tap water. Or really any water. I'll be back really soon. Sorry about making you wait, guys. You can just skip ahead. There we go. I got my water. Okay, don't want to spill it. Gotta be careful. I got my tissue. There's water in there. Okay. Now we are ready to get started. Keep a note right now, I think it's 2.45 or 2.40, I don't know. And I'll tell you in the end what time it is that I finish because, yeah. And it's probably not 2.45 or right, or whatever when I'm posting the video. It's probably like a lot of time after that because um, I'm probably busy after that. I'm going so much. Okay, let's start the paint. Oops, I think I dropped it. I gotta dip my paintbrush in the water first and then we can start.
you know what? I think we should go a little bit faster than the pace I'm going right now. Let's go faster. You know what? I think I'm going to come back when I've done a little bit more. One sec, guys. Hold on. I'm back. I've done a bunch more. And I'll come back when I'm done even more. So I'm pretty much almost done all of like the white um, base layer. I'm just like finishing it up for like the part, the parts that have a little less paint than the other parts. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. I got to do it real carefully. But I'm not really doing it as carefully. I'm just trying to rush through it a, a little bit. Because I don't want to take too long. Okay, got to gotta keep um, dipping in the water as I go. Because then I get like more paint. Because I don't want to use up all the white paint. Because there's still a bunch more um, painting to do. Okay, now I'm doing the painting part. Um, let's grab the instructions to see what step I have to do next. I think this next step involves the carbon paper. Yeah, so it says I have to put the carbon paper on top and then put the template of my choice, which is either the peacock or I think um, the Rama or Krishna image on top, whichever one. So right now I'm just putting the carbon paper. Um, so the whole like scientific like explanation part of it is that when you put the paper on top, the carpet paper is really thin. So when you put the like template paper on top, which I'm going to show you guys right now, there's the Rama or Krishna, I don't really know who, because it's not colored, a uh, peacock. I'm going for the peacock. Um, I just like that one more. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to get a pencil and some other people's opinions on which one I wanted to do. I have some guests, so I was just asking them as well. Um... So as I was saying, the scientific explanation is that the carbon paper is really thin, and since I already have that wet like base, um, I don't know exactly, but when I trace it, if you're putting enough pressure, um, the line should go through that carbon paper since it's so thin, and um, apparently the carbon paper has some kind of like chemical that it goes through and then gets onto the surface of the jewelry box or something like that, I believe. I'll come back when I've drawn more. Oh my god, guys, you will not believe it. I'm going to show you guys in a second of what, like, I'm shocked in. I'm going to pull this, like, carbon paper off, and you will not believe it. Like I said about the scientific explanation, when I put enough pressure, the writing goes through the carbon paper, and since the carbon paper is brown, there's, like, a trace of, like, whatever I'm tracing with enough pressure. That is, like going on to the surface of the jewelry box in like a brown color because of the carbon paper and i actually think that's really cool i didn't even notice that and my mom was literally explaining me the whole thing right before i even made this video but don't tell her i wasn't paying attention <laughs> okay now i'm going to use this masking tape to like try and tape it down because i don't want it to move and then trace it again and then it's like overlapping or whatever I'm just going to, you know, use the tape so that it stays in place and doesn't, like, move around everything. I'm just trying to, like, figure out where the tape starts. Oh, there, I found it. Just got to, like, use my nails. Okay, there we go. Let's use some tape. What I love about this tape is that, literally, it rips off so easily. I always get disappointed when I try to rip off the tape and it never works. This is, like, so amazing. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, like, what? You're not able to rip tape? Yeah, but this one, I can. How about that, huh?
Guys, my hands hurt so much. I think I'm almost done. Uh, the peacock drawing. My hands hurt like so much, guys. Okay, let's take off the tape so you guys can see. Oh my god. Let's see. How did it come out? Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh no. Um, it's completely ruined. It's bad, guys. No, it's, um, it's bad. Uh-oh, I don't know what I did. What did I do wrong? It's bad. It's, like, really bad. I didn't want to ruin this. Like, my mom spent so much time looking for it. Just, like, buy this. Oh, my God. Do you see that, guys? Do you see how it looked? I messed it up. I messed it up real bad. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, wait. I have an idea. What if I just, like, use some white paint to cover up, like, the big areas of where it's brown from the carbon paper? It's, like, really brown. Um, and then, like, for the rest, when I just paint it in, it'll be fine because it'll cover over the brown, right? Guys, I'm happy to say this is working. It's working. Oh my god, I'm so glad. Okay, guys, it looks a little bit better than it did before, but it'll look even better after I color it in. We're good, we're good, okay, we'll be fine. Okay, so let's just put the lid back on for the white paint and continue painting. I think I'm gonna use like blue maybe first, I don't know. First, I gotta wipe my paintbrush clean. Um, I think there's like some image on the instructions that shows how the peacock looks, and I'll just paint it that color. Yeah, there is. This is what I got so far. It's so pretty. I love blue. 
so um for part of it i did like a bit of like a red yellow sort of sunset -y ombre sort of thing i don't know Bro, okay, so I need to make pink, so I got the red and the white to make the pink, because, like, bro, they didn't even give pink when, like, the um, image of, like, the peacock of how, like, an idea of how you can color it literally has pink on it. What? oh my god i finished painting it i think it looks like kind of bad but um it was really bad at first when there was like no black stuff it was just a bunch of rainbow splotches but after i added the black it's giving like a bunch of like tropical vibes i love it so so much but now i think i should paint the rest because um it's kind of like empty in the rest so i think i should paint the rest but i'm so so happy with how this came out so i made like a peach sort of thing um so i'm just gonna color like a bit of it because i'm too lazy to color the whole thing i don't know if i'll finish it all today but wish me luck guys guys that's it for me today i'm getting so tired and i need a break so i guess i'll just do the rest tomorrow probably yeah and i hope you guys liked the video once again make sure to subscribe so we can get to 20 or maybe even if we could get more like 50 subscribers um yeah basically that's all i have today and make sure you like the video subscribe like i said and share this video with all your other friends um that's all bye guys peace